To create a countdown timer effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we first just want to go to our project tab, go to new item and select black video. Press OK on that and drag that onto your timeline. Now, if you want this to be a one minute timer, then you just drag your cursor to the one minute mark or you can type it out here, one minute, zero seconds, zero milliseconds and extend that video all the way out to that point. Now we'll go into effects, search for time code. Drop that onto your video and you can see we have this time code here. Now we're going to increase the size of the time code to make that the biggest that it can be, so 100%. We'll move that roughly into the middle and then we'll change a few more settings. So we'll go to field symbol and turn that off. We'll go to format and make sure SM PTE is selected. Time code source should be clip and then time display should be the frame rate of your project. So in my example, that is 25 frames per second. And you'll notice that he's now counting up. Now, personally, I don't care for the hours and I don't care for the milliseconds. So I'm just going to get rid of those. So I'll search for crop. Drop that onto the video and then we'll just crop the left to get rid of the hours. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. So we'll get rid of the milliseconds and the semicolon. And you'll notice we've still got a little bit there. So we need to take the crop a bit further. So 36.5 and the same on the other side, 36.5. And that has now got rid of that. So from this point, we can just right click. We'll go to speed slash duration. And as you can see, reverse speed is not enabled. It is grayed out. So we're going to press cancel, right click, nest this into a new nested sequence. You can call this timer. And now we can right click on that, go to speed slash duration, and this is enabled. So we'll select reverse speed, press OK. And now that is going to count down from the minute mark all the way down to zero seconds. Now, if you wanted this to be longer, then just click into that extend that out for as long as you want this to run for. So let's go the two minute mark. So go to a bang on two minutes, extend that out and that will now play up to two minutes. So when you go back to the sequence, we can just extend this all the way back out again and that will count down to zero from your two minute mark. And that is your timer inside of Premiere Pro.